Hey everybody, this is Paul. This lesson I'm going to be explaining how to solve logarithms by using the change of base formula. So the change of base formula looks like this. If you have a logarithm of base A and argument B, that is equivalent to the logarithm of any base you choose. We're going to call it base N of B, which was your original argument, divided by the logarithm of that same base that you chose, and this time for the argument you're going to put in the base of the, of the thing that you're trying to solve. So let me give you an example of this. Let's say that we have a logarithm of base 2, argument 8, well, from my previous examples, if you've watched those, we know that this answer is 3. And the reason that we know that is because 2 raised to the third power is equal to 8. But let's say that we couldn't figure out what this number is. And we want a different way to figure out what it is. We just can't see it for, for whatever reason. So we're going to go ahead and solve this same problem by using the change of base formula. In the change of base formula, usually this is solved by using a calculator. So basically we have two really nice choices for our base here. And the choices that we want to choose is we, we either want to pick log base 10, 10 for our n, because we have a button on our calculator that looks like this, L-O-G, and that means log base 10. The other choice that's really nice is log, sorry, the natural log, log base E, which is equal to the natural log. So the LN button on our calculator is the log base E. So we can use our calculator and the change of base formula to find out what this answer is. So log base 2 of 8, using the change of base formula, is simply log base 10 of 8 divided by log base 10 of 2. And if we plug this in on our calculator, we find that log base 10 of 8 divided by log base 10 of 2 is equal to 3. And we could have just as easily found it by doing the natural log of 8 divided by the natural log of 2. So the change of base formula is a really nice trick to solve logarithms by using your calculator. So let me go ahead and do an example that you probably wouldn't be able to figure out in your head. You, should, you could probably figure out 2 raised to the third power equals 8 in your head. But let's try something a little bit more difficult here. Let's say that we have the log base 3 of 19,000. 683, and that equals some number. So previously in my videos, the way that we would have solved this is we would have said, okay, 3 raised to the x power equals this number. So 3, my marker's running out here, let's use the black one. So 3 raised to the x power equals some number. So I'm just going to write that down. 3 to the x power equals 19,000. 683. So what does x equal to make this statement true? So this is a lot harder to figure out. But we can use the change of base formula and our calculator to find out the solution. So we can rewrite this as log base 10 of 19,683 and then using our calculator divide it by log base 10 of 3 and we find out that the answer is 9. And we can also do the natural log of 19,683 divided by the natural log of 3. Plug this into our calculator, and we find out that the answer is 9. So therefore, 3 to the ninth power, because our answer was 9, x equals 9, is equal to 19,683. So the change of base formula is very useful. You can use it in combination with your calculator to find solutions to logarithms in this form. So anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully this is helpful and uh, it should help you f solve more difficult logarithms.
But anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe.